Four peace activists were arrested Monday, August 8, 2011, while attempting to block the entrance to the U.S. Navy's West Coast Trident nuclear submarine base. The Trident submarine base at Bangor, just 20 miles from Seattle, contains the largest concentration of operational nuclear weapons. Each of the eight submarines at Bangor contains 24 Trident missiles. Each of those missiles contains up to eight independently targetable warheads and each nuclear warhead has an explosive power between 100 and 475 kilotons, up to 32 times the Hiroshima bomb. Members and supporters of Ground Zero Center for Nonviolent Action in Polesbo, Washington, commemorated the anniversaries of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki by vigiling at the new main gate entrance to Naval Base Kitsap Banger, while some protesters blocked the entrance during the early morning rush hour on Monday, August 8, 2011 symbolically closing the base. Demonstrators lined the side of the roadway, many holding signs and banners calling for the abolition of nuclear weapons. At 6.45 a.m., four participants attempting to block the base entrance roadway using an inflatable, full-scale Trident missile. Ground Zero peacekeepers had already entered the roadway to safely stop traffic, after which the protesters lifted the missile over the barricades and laid it in the street. As the four moved the, the missile out onto the roadway, Washington State Patrol officers immediately moved in and attempted to push the missile back toward the designated protest zone. The missile was pushed back and forth on the roadway before state patrol officers lifted it back over the barricades. The four missile handlers were arrested, processed at the scene, and issued citations for pedestrian on the roadway unlawfully, and they were released. Those arrested were Reverend Ann Hall of Seattle, Betsy Lamb of Bend, Oregon, Brandon McMillan of Port Townsend, Washington, and Tom Rogers of Paulsboro, Washington. Tom Rogers is a retired U.S. Navy captain uh, who once commanded a nuclear submarine. Although active in Ground Zero for many years, this was Rogers' first nonviolent direct action. Following the action, Rogers commemorated uh, his sister Jackie Hudson, longtime peace activist and nuclear abolitionist and member of Ground Zero who died last week. He said that Jackie had had a big impact on him. For, for me, for me, today and, and yesterday um, were about Jackie, and, and I, I thought a lot about Jackie, and uh, I thought a lot about Jackie, <laughs> and Jackie was was really the one. There were many, but Jackie was the one who who helped me learn to be a constructive activist and, and to be out of my comfort zone just a little bit until it got comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and then do the next thing. And, and I, I love it here. The weekend commemorating the Hiroshima and Nagasaki anniversaries included nonviolent workshops and a vigil at the Kitsap Mall, and music, and a special appearance by Congressman Dennis Kucinich. Kucinich spoke passionately about the need to abolish nuclear weapons, and his message was well received. He stated the doctrines of unilateralism, preemption, and first strike must be set aside as profoundly dangerous relics, and that it is our responsibility to make war itself obsolete through direct action and through concrete steps which can take us in a direction of peace. Regarding nuclear weapons, Kucinich said, we cannot hope to abolish nuclear weapons unless we change the thinking that created those weapons, and unless we change dramatically the U.S. role in the world. And into plowshares turn their swords, nations shall learn war no more. And into plowshares turn their swords, Nations shall learn war no more, and everyone beneath the vine and fig tree shall live in peace and... 
The purpose of the vigil and nonviolent action was to raise awareness of the dangers of nuclear weapons and our continuing reliance on them, particularly the Trident nuclear weapons system, and the importance of working towards a nuclear weapons free world. GZ holds vigils and nonviolent direct actions every year on anniversaries of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. For over 33 years, the Ground Zero Center for Nonviolent Action has engaged in education, training, and nonviolence, uh, community building, resistance against Trident, and action toward a world without nuclear weapons. What's your ticket? What you get? Just a quick one, just for, for just for posterity here. Turn in a roadway or some yeah. such thing. I'm going to screw it. Yes. I'll walk the line.